urban hip hop, a spoonful of French desserts, and a whole lot of magic. Get ready for Wow Wednesdays on DXV today. Uh, listen, we're all about fun here tonight, and we've got one of Dubai's top entertainers who agreed to co-host with us today. A renowned magician around town, quite a few tricks up his sleeve, might show us a few later, but before all that, let's introduce to you our guest co-host today. I am Wayne al -Bistaki. I'm really honoured to be here, a magician, mentalist and illusionist. I'm really excited to be co-hosting. I hope to add some sprinkle of magic to the show. Well, Moen, we are all big fans and we can't wait to see what you have got in store for us today. Indeed, Moen, thank you so much indeed for agreeing to, agreeing to be our co-host. Tell us a bit more about what you do. Uh, well, um, I'm, I'm a unique kind of uh, forbidden fruit in this society. <laughs> um, I do magic, which, which people in the beginning when I came on and presented some of my skills. Well, kind of not really accepting it until they learn the difference between the real magic and what illusions are. Mm. So my path was of an education. It was to tell them that, yeah, that exists, that the real magic exists, mm. but what I do is maybe not that. Mm. Right, speaking of magical foods, it's also been a big week in Dubai for foodies, with the top 50 best restaurants in MENA being unveiled earlier this week. And to join us to tell us a little bit more about that is UAE-based food and lifestyle blogger Naomi D'Souza. Welcome, Naomi. Thank you for having me. I've seen lots of restaurants coming up, and a person from Dubai, I've been surprised with people coming and talking about new restaurants that I've never heard of. Mm. And I, I have got this tough time of catching up and then finding up the new places. Yeah. So for locals here, what can you suggest? Three best restaurants that they might have not heard of mm. or something of local style of food? That's a bit tough. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I think statistically there are over 13,000 restaurants, I think, just in Dubai. Wow. I may be wrong. Uh, so, so that's a bit tough. But to answer your question, do I have to stick to the list? You don't have to. I love Orfali, Arabian. As well. Go get Orfali, haven't you? Orfali is going to be there, yeah. but something that wasn't in the list that I personally love is Arabian Tea House. Mm. Oh, so that's yes. been there for decades in uh, UAE and it's opened so many branches in Dubai. It started at Al Fahidi and now it's, you know, they have about four or five branches if I'm not mistaken. I suddenly got some props in front of them. Moen, tell us more. There we go. So, Doa, you have your phone with you, yes? I do. Would you mind giving your phone to Tom? Of course. All right. Sure? So is it locked? Is it locked? <laughs> yes. No, I've unlocked it. No, just please lock it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Do you know her passcode? I've, I've seen no idea. No, <laughs> right, okay. Just you, can, you, can you try this? Your year of birth, because I'm getting confused with lots of information. Mm -hmm. Year of birth. Um, Gonna have to hurry you. Right. Uh, 1988. Yes. Oh my God. All right. Thank you very much. I think we're going to keep that as a secret. Okay, that's a secret. All right. Okay. We don't want to open her phone for anybody to Fine. know. Her password. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank Listen, you. Listen, we can't thank you enough. Thanks so much indeed for our time thank today. Thank, thank you, you for showing us what well, opening lovely. our minds as well. Amy, you have a few questions? Yes. So I think we're going to now jump into our quiz. So you've got 60 seconds. So let's start by this. the <laughs> clock. I hope you've been paying attention. All right. In three, two, one. And the clock started. So which Emirati airline sponsors the annual literature festival in Dubai? Is it Etihad or Emirates? I'll go with Etihad. Incorrect. Uh, Has the Emirates Literature Festival started already? Yes or no? Yes. Correct. Which Hollywood composer performed live in Dubai last weekend? John Williams or Hans Zimmer? Hans Zimmer. Correct. What was the name of the famous dance group featured today? Was it Quick Style or Tempo Masters? Quick style. Correct. Where is Quick Style based out of? Is it Norway or Finland? Norway. Correct. The group was created by how many people? Three or five? Three. Correct. How many members of the group did our interviewer Nimi actually meet? Was it ten or seven? Seven. Correct. Where did the dance group perform in Dubai just now? Was it City Walk or Al Sakal Avenue? Al Sakal Avenue. Incorrect. Right. 
What was the name of the famous chef we met today? Was it Jan Cover or Gordon Ramsay? <gasps> Jan the first one. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> correct. We'll give. Well done. You got seven correct. So where does that place you on our leaderboard? Let's find out. Yes, indeed. Yeah, obviously running that leaderboard throughout the week and throughout the season as well. So here we go. So you are in second place. Oh, Congratulations with you. seven points. Thank you. Very bless you. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks Thank for the time. Oh, Thank you for showing us uh, some of your extraordinary tricks as well. And uh, that was pretty magic. More magic coming away in a few moments' time, courtesy uh, of the aforementioned dance routine. Nimi, Norway. What could possibly happen? Find out next. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 